Chicago and the Chicagoland area is home to over 1,000 different taquerias. And today we're going on a mission to find the best tacos in all of the Chicagoland area. And we're going to be starting off with one of the most famous taquerias, El Milagro. This taqueria is right next to a tortilla factory that opened in the 80s and supplies tortillas to almost all of the Chicagoland area. So before we head into any of the taquerias, we'll be reading a 1 star and a 5 star review in order to find out which review is the most accurate. Then what we'll do is we'll give our own rankings and come up with a final score for each taqueria in order to find the best taco in Chicago. Alright, so for El Milagro review, the one star review, uh, we're gonna read it. Was here for the first time. Mile. Turn left onto West. <laughs> we'll include that, we'll include that. <laughs> was here for the first time, bought four tacos and agua de tamarindo. La carne asada was okay, but with some chewy bits. They didn't even give me salsa for them. What type of taco place is this? And the tamarindo, well, it didn't taste at all like tamarindo, just sweet water. I was super disappointed and could definitely not recommend. Okay, so that might be a little too extreme. I think Bertha here might be lying about these tacos. Let's get a little five-star review in here. Amazing, what a hidden gem. Best steak taco I've ever had, hands down, but worth every red light and traffic jam to get there. We're literally at a red light right now. We are definitely going back. Amazing place, I highly recommend going. It's a very positive review, so there's a good opportunity we could have this positive outcome too. Maybe that one-star review is lying. Bertha, we're gonna get to the bottom of this and see if you're actually lying or if this is true. At El Milagro today, and today we're going to be ranking different taquerias in Chicago. Like I said, I'm accompanied with somebody that you guys are familiar with, Eric, and <laughs> one of my friends in this video today that's going to be driving us around all of Chicago is Misa. Doesn't look too, too enthusiastic to be here, right? Started. <laughs> <laughs> we're here at El Milagro. We just got our tacos. We got our drinks. We're gonna give it a little bit of taste to our drinks, all right? All right. Uh, you yeah, finished yours. <laughs> We're gonna give it a little bit of a taste here and a ranking. See what we see what we think it's at. I say a uh, two out of five. I give it a two point five. What do you? Why do you give it? A two I just give it a two out of five just because I could feel like it could have a little more flavor. It does taste a little watered down. All right. So let, let me taste it real quick. Honestly. Three out of five, like he said, it's missing a bit of flavor. It looks like Bertha was actually right on the on her review. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Honest review. Honest review. Four out of five. I think it's uh, good, but not amazing. But I will come back. This is something that you kind of see like at a carne asada type of taco, like when you're with your family, you're outside in the backyard. Doing a little carne asada. It's not bad. I give it a four out of five as well. The only thing that I'm not a huge fan of is the cut of this meat, man. Some of it is super thick. Well, this one's thin. A little bit thick for a taco. Eric's choking on it, I think. I was actually choking on it. I give it a three salad, three bones. Okay, so three bones out of five for Eric. Uh, okay, so on to the chicken taco. Same thing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to fight this, though. <laughs> I think yeah. Honestly, I'm a bit bigger fan of this chicken taco than I was of the steak taco. I think the steak taco was too thick. This one's perfectly cut. So my ranking, 4.5. I think what's missing is like a little bit of a spicier salsa, which would make it a 5 for me. All right, I'm going to rank this a 4.2. I like it more than the sour one, and it's really good, but it's not the that. So 4.2 I personally give it a 4.5 pounds. Okay, so we thought we were done recording at El Milagro moving on to the next spot. But I just tried this agua de piña. And this agua de piña is fire. Way better than the agua de tamarindo. So Bertha, if you would have tried the agua de piña, you probably would have had a better experience than with this one. Agua de piña, I give it a solid 4 out of 5. I love pineapple, I give it a 4.5. Bro, I would give it a 5. It tastes good and it's not too sweet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not 4.5, I meant. 4.5 bones. <laughs> so after taking into consideration all of our reviews, the average score from the three of us for El Milagro is a 3.76. So that's one taqueria done. And we have five more to go. So make sure to keep watching to find out which taqueria is the best one.
So we're on to the next place that we're going to be visiting. It's a taco truck. This place doesn't have any reviews, so we won't be able to look at the reviews like the other places. But this place is called Los Paisas, something a little different. I heard that their food is good. Let's go out and check that out. Puede dar dos tacos al pastor y dos tacos al asado, por favor. This is the place, Los Paisas. One thing about here is that there's no agua de horchata, so that's really going to affect the rating. Hopefully, it's not big of a difference in the rating, but we should be okay, you know? I think the tacos here are well worth it from what I've heard, but well, let's see what they think, okay? All right, guys, huge shout out to Los Spices here. They gave us these tacos for free. Obviously, we're not getting too much because we're going to share them, but take a look at the tacos right here. What do you, what do you guys think of their appearance? They look kind of fire. I can go and I look, those limes look freshly cut. Yeah. Put a little lime on here. Woo! Una salud, una salud, chiquitita. Salud, salud. All right, here goes. Mm. Mm-hmm. This is good. That asada is really good, dude. Is that pastor? Yeah, it's actually good. That tortilla, very soft. The asada, so much flavor. It's perfectly cooked. Yeah. But now we gotta try with the salsa. That's the main thing we gotta try right here. Gotta go with the green. Green's my favorite right here. A little bit right there. Honest rating on the taco de asada. Five out of five. What do you think of that, Pastor? Honestly, I give it a, I give it a solid eight point five. You know, it's out of five stars. Honestly, they're really good. I give it a five out of five. I give it a five out of five because the taste and everything looks fresh. Taco al pastor. Oh my god! I know the ranking is five out of five. That taco deserves a ten out of five. That taco is amazing. And honestly, five out of five. For the asada, five out of five for the al pastor. No horchata, so unfortunately, zero for that one. But for value, I don't know the pricing. Let me go ask, because they gave it to us for free. So let me just go ask real quick. Okay, so I just asked, it's 350 for a taco. Some people might think that's a little too expensive, but for these tacos that are five out of fives for 350, 100% worth it, thousand percent worth it, honestly. Five out of fives for the value too. If only this place had an horchata, it would be probably the only perfect ranking in the video, but since there's no horchata, unfortunately, it does fall a little bit in the ranking. If you guys are around this area, a place called Los Paisas, definitely check them out. I'll drop the address down below, and I swear you guys are gonna love it. Trust me on this one. 100%, come check it out. Go. All right, so we're on to the next one, and let's keep enjoying some good tacos. Los Paisas got a five across every single category from all of us, but a zero for the drink because they didn't have an agua fresca. But we thought that was a little too harsh, so we decided to put an average score of three from the three of us, giving Los Paisas a 4.5. Now that's a high score. Let's see if any of the other taquerias can match this score. So, Aguas Calientes one star review. Me and my family ordered gorditas and tacos. Three of us got severe food poisoning, and the three of us were the ones who had pork. Um, so, we're getting our pastor, so hopefully, we don't get food poisoning after this. Why don't you tell me that review before you eat it? <laughs> Wait, that no. place right there? Yeah. No, I forgot. Bro, <laughs> which one? Bro, which one? Bro, that's great. Oh, that was a one star. That was a one star. We'll be fine. We'll be Still fine. Still not. <laughs> that's, that's, that's a one star. Wait, what, what meat was it? We should have been told this. Wait, what meat was it? Huh? What meat was that's it? You didn't have oh, it. Oh, I didn't try it. Oh. <laughs> Five star review, Carniceria Aguas Calientes. We drove about one hour just because I had a taste for the food. Always fresh and flavorful, has never disappointed. If you're in the mood to have some, some of the best Mexican food, I totally recommend this spot. So you guys might be wondering, why are we in a car? So the next place that we were gonna go to, very loud in there, and uh, we forgot our mics at home. So, <laughs> so Eric's gonna be tasting the taco de asada. Ah, oh, shit. Damn. Well, we Bye. taste the taco de pastor. Oh. To be honest, I really don't like it. Honestly, same. When you go to the food truck and get an al pastor like we did over there, and then you come over here and get this al pastor, it's a whole like, can't even live up to it, I feel like. I'd give it an honest three out of, maybe 2.5 out of five. You? I'm gonna give it a two out of five. I just really don't like it too much. Mm -mm. It's just not good, bro. Is that good? I give it a two. Yeah. It's okay, but it's just, it's not fresh. All right, let me taste it. The meat isn't bad, but the tortilla is definitely really hard. Like, like zoom in a little. Look at that, like how crispy. Not cr not even crispy, it's like, like, I don't know. It's like cracking apart. So I'd give it a 3.5. But the tortilla, when that's the main thing, kind of holding it together and it being super dry, can't give it anything higher than that. Oh, yeah. mm. 
this is the D itself? No. Same. Like bro. a 1.95. <laughs> Wait, you didn't taste that busted one? Nah, it's cool. He <laughs> <laughs> said, nah, I was good. Alright, moment of truth, guys. Alright, let's do it. That's really Damn. good. That's really <laughs> good. Okay, so you guys give your honest reviews on the Aoda Chata. I'm gonna get five. Five bones, man. Five bones. This is really good. Five out of five. And the horchata is definitely the highlight at Aguas Calientes. Get okay, yourself an Aguas Calientes. Get yourself some carne asada with a fresh tortilla. Got yourself a meal. Honestly, not too bad. All right. In terms of value, $26 for four tacos and an hour of horchata. I think that's pretty good. I'd give it a 4.5, 4. maybe a 4 out of 5. I give it a 3.5. Like I agree with him. 3.5. No comment, no nothing. Just he a 3.5. Boom, man. <laughs> Aguas Calientes averaged a 3.5, putting it at the lowest so far, but with Taco Bell coming up next, I don't think they'll be last for much longer. Comment down below who you think will have a higher score, Taco Bell or Aguas Calientes. All right, so after visiting a couple places in 26th Street and that taco truck, we're actually at a different place now, at Taco Bell. My favorite, I give it a five bones. <laughs> Fuck, I'll give it a two out of five. That's a zero out of five for me. That's not good. Now we're moving on to this double taco. It's a little hard shell with the little soft tortilla. That's a solid, like, maybe like a one out of five, honestly. <laughs> Taco. <laughs> you like it? <laughs> I'll give it a zero. Zero out of five. Like a 3.5. 3.5? But I mean, if you're comparing it to a horchata, then oh, yeah. it's like a zero out of five. I give it a 3.5. Talk about probably the plate, worst place we've been to in for tacos. The value was $16 for four tacos and uh, four drinks. It's cheap, but in terms of flavor and everything, value, two out of five for sure. You were going through it and it was like 1 a.m. at night and you had nowhere else to go and Taco Bell was open, I wouldn't go to Taco Bell. <laughs> <laughs> and just what I thought, Taco Bell averaged a 1.7, <laughs> giving it the lowest rating from every place we've been to. Let's see if the next two taquerias can improve our experience and give us some more authentic tacos. One star review. I ordered out Pastor Tacos and they gave me black burnt meat with fresh meat. It was not even crispy, it was burnt. The tortilla was old and cold and when I tried to bite it, my teeth didn't even go through the tortilla. It was so hard I was able to scratch it and make noise with it. It was like scratching a lavadero type of noise. Let's look at the five star review. Best authentic tacos for the price. Meat is quality and season to perfection. Service is top notch, five stars. Taqueria Totonilco. Uh, once again, it was full in there and there was like music blasting. So we're once again in the car. Call the Totonilco. I think it's their special. That's the carne asada one. He's got the al pastor one. So we're just going to give it a quick taste to all three of them and see what we think. I give it a 3.3 bones, honestly. <laughs> it's not bad. It's actually good. What about you? Yeah, the 2.6. This one's the Totonilco. It's got sour cream and Tomato, never really expect that on a taco, but it somehow goes pretty well together. So I'll give it a four out of five. Butter. All right, so now I'm tasting the taco del pastor. So taco del pastor, honestly, a solid four out of five. For my mind, the uh, Totonilco one, I would give it a three out of five. I give it a three, I really like the lettuce on this taco. I still need to try this, so let me go give this a quick taste and see what I uh, review it gets. This one, is liking a bit of flavor. I'd give it a 2.5 because I'm not a fan of tacos with like tomato and lettuce. I prefer them with cilantro and cebolla. And this one surprisingly with the sour cream tastes better than this one. Mm -hmm. So now we're going on to the main thing, the agua de horchata. Mm -hmm. Huge expectations after we've tasted the agua mm -hmm. caliente this no. one. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. All right, let's go. I would say it's up there. Honestly, yeah, dude. It's definitely up there. I would still probably give it a five. five. I mean, I think the other one tastes just slightly better for me, but this one just tastes as I think it deserves a five still. I rated uh, five bones the last one, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll give it a 4.5.
It's mm -hmm. okay. I like the other one way more though. Yeah, right. The one. Honestly, I like this one way better. It's got like this like sweet taste to it. I love sweet things, and this one, my favorite. If I could give it a little bit more than a five, I would. Five out of five. Uh, and wait, what the hell? We're we getting charged with inflation. What the fuck? Anyways, for twenty dollars and eighty-five cents, three tacos and no chata. What do you guys give it in value? Two point nine out of five. I give it a solid three bones. Yeah, I definitely give it like a three point five. I think that uh, the chata is kind of the, the main thing here. And uh, I saw that could have been better, yeah. but for paying what four dollars and twenty nine cents, and when you compare that to the food truck, which so far has been our favorite, which is three fifty, I think it's you know it's definitely a three out of five. Taqueria Totonilco. I dare you to say that five times fast. Average of three point five six, which puts it at third. Not too bad, but we still have one more place to go to, and this one might end up changing the entire ranking. So lock in who you think is going to win by commenting down below. Hi guys, so we're on to the last taqueria. This one is in the suburbs. This is for you suburb people. Now, before you say anything in the comments, I did say Chicagoland area in the intro, so this technically still qualifies. But a lot of friends recommended this place. It's called El Rodeo. We're gonna go check it out real quick and see what the hype's all about. Got our order shot. The service is pretty good. We're about to taste it right now. Let's take a little sip. Like a 3.5? 3.5. Yeah, I'd probably give it like a 3.5 too. Um, compared to the other ones that we went to before, I feel like it's lacking a little bit, but hey, yeah. I mean, it's, it's not bad. bad. Alright, we just got our tacos, taco asada, taco al pastor. These actually look good. You know, these are, actually I have cilantro and cebolla. Alright, let's see how these taste. I think they're okay. Yeah? What would you give it out of 5? 3.5? 3.5? Yeah. Honestly, I'd give them like a 4.5. I thought yeah. they were pretty good. Yeah, yeah they, they weren't bad. Answer the taco al pastor, see how we think about that. And look, they stuffed it and with two tortillas, but that's know, a W, dude, man. perfect. That's what they gave us that fork, look at that. Yeah, in case it falls honestly. off. All right, guys, take a look at that. Looks so good, doesn't it? Oh my God. All right, quick little bite right here. Yeah, honest rating. These are good, bro. Yeah? I don't even eat this type of meat. Mm -hmm. I would give it a 4.5. 4.5? Way better than the ones over there. Yeah, definitely. I think so, too. Without the salsa for me, it's like a 4.5. With the salsa, I'd give it a 4.9. The only reason, only reason is because the other ones over there were, remember the ones from the taco truck? More stuffed, they were huge, and the, the, the meat was just a little bit better, and the, the chunks of pineapple, like they were really big. These are like hidden in there. I got a little taste of that. They were so good, but yeah, overall, 4.9. What do you think about the value? In terms of like the food, plus when we had to pay, what do you think? First thing I think for what we paid was, uh, I'd give him an overall of a 4.5, because uh, it was actually good, but yeah. I'm definitely gonna bring my family out here. Customer service was perfect, man. They were really nice out here. And honestly, the tacos were not bad. Like I said, they were really good. Yeah. I'm gonna give it a five. Five out of five value. Customer service is really good. The owners here are really nice. Mom and pop shop, basically. The tacos were good. That would have was good. You, they give you some chips, too. Some of the places we went to, didn't, we didn't get chips, yeah, right? Yeah, bro. Yeah, Most so, of them, honestly. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, five out of five. Definitely check it out. I think the taco al pastor and asada here are solid. For, the, for you people in Chicago who hate on suburb tacos, I think you guys are going to have a good time if you come over here. Definitely check it out. Address down below. And now that this is basically the last one. If you guys want us to visit other places, some of your favorites that we might not know about, drop a comment down below. Tell us where you guys want us to go next. This was a lot of fun, don't you think? And we just want to find the best taco in Chicago, so let us know. We'll check it out. And El Rodeo averaged a 4.23, a very good score from a taqueria many people may not know. So make sure to check them out and show them some love. So with that being said, the winner of this video is Los Paisas! Although they didn't have an hour with horchata, I still think they were the best taco we tried all video. And they deserve this special shout out. So once again, here's the address. Make sure to check them out. And I promise you'll have one of the best tacos you've ever tried in your life. So... I made this video because as a kid, I would always look forward to Sunday mornings with my parents. I was always excited for every Sunday because I knew that we would go to our favorite taqueria and enjoy some good tacos. Unfortunately, that place is now closed and I tried finding the next best taco because I wanted to find a taco that tasted like the ones I used to eat as a kid. But as I was making this video and reflecting on that time when I was a kid, I realized that I wasn't excited or looking forward to the tacos every Sunday. I was excited and remember those days so vividly because of the memories I got to create with my parents at that age. 
I might not remember every moment perfectly, but all I remember is that I was happy eating tacos. But most importantly, I was happy because I was spending time with my family.